Oh, hello everybody. This here is my latest con Lego contraption. Uh, I live in Edmonton on the North Saskatchewan River and we have really just fine flower gold there. So I was thinking the main thing to think about is classification so that I can get better recovery. In one of my previous videos I posted about having a trommel and a couple of shaker screens and that material going into a sluice but I've been doing some research and learning and I think I'd rather uh, try out a rocker box. So this this unit is my latest idea where uh, along the, the top here we would have uh, probably uh, you know a half inch punch plate we would shovel dirt here and then just gravity fed and, and washed down with water and probably overhead spray bars to, to get the material to move down this trough and as it moves down it's going to go through the punch plate and below here we would have quarter inch punch plate so coming out of the bottom of the quarter inch punch plate onto this uh, screen which would be for one eighth of an inch the screened material would then enter the, the feed end of a rocker box. All of the oversized material would get sent out my uh, little slide here so that, you know, and I can adjust this however I want, depending where I'm digging to put the material, because I, I only want to shovel the rocks once. Now, I'll just show you a little bit how this works. Then I'll just turn it here. And really, I'd, I would have a a motor here or something to drive it so just one spot to drive it and then based on the different sizes of pulleys you'll get different horizontal motions I imagine that the screen is going to have to move faster than the rocker box so I have a, a bigger uh, pulley whatever down here to, to make the rocker box move slower than the screen and it, it works quite quite well. I'm quite pleased with it. As we move around here to give you a better idea, I even made a little Lego pump just for kicks. Let's just get this out of the way. And you now you'll be able to see how the, the rocker box moves back and forth in relation to the, to the screen. And I don't think you're going to want that rocker box to move too terrible fast. And I, I even put uh, some little gold Lego nuggets in there so one can dream. And that's that. I, I, I'm glad that I was able to get it all in a, in a column, in a small footprint, because I want to put this on a cart. Uh, previously I had the rocker box off to the side and I saw no reason why I couldn't just put it underneath. I think that'll be good too because the material will just fall straight down and I look forward to trying to build this this winter and try it out in the spring. So hope you've enjoyed that and learned some things and have fun and experiment.